Hey guys, it's me, Jess, and I'm back with another update on my bill that I have to pay. Today was actually the day of my stress test. It is Monday, January 8th, and I went in and had to walk the treadmill for a little bit, and I got my heart rate up. It only took a few minutes. Usually it takes people eight to 10 minutes to get their heart rate up to the beats per minute that uh, they would like it to be at for them to get good results but I am abnormal apparently. It didn't take very long, but they kept me on there for about 10 minutes just to see what happens. I don't know the results yet, but since I paid almost $1,000, I thought it was appropriate to take a picture. So that is what I did. Anyways, uh, let's get into the part that you guys are probably here for. And that is, did I pay down my bill a little bit more? And do you think I'll reach my goal by the end of 30 days? So if we're counting actual days, I believe today would be like day number three because we're just gonna go over the weekend sales. So I was actually going to record this video Sunday morning because I had a slew of sales on Saturday. But then I was like, well, let's let's just wait and see what happens on Sunday and just have like one huge video with tons of sales. Guess what happened on Sunday? Absolutely nothing. I had one sale and it was terrible, but we'll go over that as well. All right, we're gonna start off with Poshmark because that is where I had most of my sales. The first thing I sold was this McDougal dress. I actually asked my friend Victoria, who knows a lot about this designer, and she said it was a definite pickup. I did find it retail arbitrage, but when I saw it in the store, I was kind of hesitant. It had a few dirt marks at the bottom, and I was like, ah, maybe I can get those out. Definitely couldn't get them out. I tried to brush them a little bit. I mean, I'm not gonna clean a dress that is brand new with tags. So I was hoping I could at least get a maybe 30 to $40 profit on this. I did have it listed for a while. I kept dropping the price, nobody was buying. I'd relist it in hopes that people would buy. No, and no, and no, and no, and no, and no, and no. I probably tried like 15 times and finally it happened. I dropped the price on Friday, no takers. I did not relist it and somebody bought it for full price of $55. So that leaves me with $44 in my pocket and that is going to go towards my stress test bill. Oh, and here's a look at the dress. It's folded and then you can see like the dirt marks all over the bottom. So <laughs> hopefully she read the description where I told her that and we won't have any issues. Right next are these uh, Free People sandals. You guys might remember this from a ThreadUp shoe box. It was one of my better boxes that I have gotten from ThreadUp. And it was more recent, maybe within the last few months. So I actually might try this uh, rescue box again. These are really super freaking cute. And they sold for an offer of $45. I had them listed for 57. So of course I will take that. And that leaves me with $36 towards my bill. Next up, we have a Banana Republic shirt. This is a men's shirt. I would not pick this up at a Goodwill or Salvation Army to resell. I probably wouldn't even pick it up at the Benz. The reason I have it is my brother gave me a ton of his stuff and I've listed all of it, but I have had it for maybe like two years now. So I think it might be time to let it go. I'm thinking about taking it to Plato's Closet because they do like men's stuff. The last time I went to Plato's Closet, I took a couple of men's things and they took that and then a couple of my things, which I brought them like 50 things. So I'm thinking, yes, they like men's stuff. This did end up selling for a full price of $19, which is actually a lot for Banana Republic. And in the end, I end up with $15.20. You guys will remember this from my last video. If you have not watched that video, uh, it is the first of the series. I did ask you guys about a Sam Edelman little sandals slides. They're so cute. I got them retail arbitrage. So I did pay up for them, but like pay up, I mean like $13. I did have them priced at 57. I usually end my stuff in sevens if you haven't noticed. These sold for $40 to the first lady who had sent me the offer. There was another lady that had bundled this and another item together. I did end up sending her an offer around $80. So it was like 40 for this shoe, 40 for the other shoe. What well, the other shoe was actually originally priced higher. So she could have gotten a good deal, but nothing ended up coming of that. So we're gonna send it off to the person who sent me the offer. 
All right, over this weekend, I have been listing a ton, a ton of NFL stuff. My mom had a bunch of NFL stuff in her store and she's had it for years. So I'm not really sure why I thought I could sell it. Some of her stuff was priced super high. Uh, so I have since lowered the price. I did have her listings to go off of. So it's pretty easy to just relist on my store. Plus I have Poshmark and Macari where she only sells on eBay. So it's helping a lot especially with Poshmark. So I did sell this Dallas Cowboys shirt. Uh, somebody sent me an offer of $16 and I was like, okay, I have over a hundred items that I'm listing right now. So $16, that's fine. So I end up with $12.80. And then I got these in a thread up box. Either it was a shoe box or designer box. If it was a designer box, this is pretty, pretty sad. These are Salvatore Ferragamo, which I said I could never sell. Uh, if you notice, there is a piece missing. It should look like this <laughs> and it is gone. So I definitely listed these super low for $15. Somebody sent me an offer of 10 and I was like, I mean, if they read the description, they can have them for 10. I probably just should have donated these. So these are out of my life and I have like three more Salvatore Ferragamos to get rid of. Just now somebody bought this for full price. It is Robert Rodrigo's. I kind of wanted to roll the R. Rodrigo's. No? Okay. It's just a little tank top. I did get this on Facebook Marketplace. I did a big buyout. This guy was just selling uh, stuff that he found in a warehouse. He was open for more electronics and other hard goods and he ended up getting a lot of clothing and the clothing was like a Nordstrom buyout or something like that. So I got a lot of Nordstrom stuff and he ended up selling it to me for like one to $2 per piece. A definite yes. And it's funny, I told this story before. So when he sent me the pictures over Facebook, he was so excited to send me this picture of an Ann Taylor tag, like brand new with tags and he was all excited. And then in the background of that photo, I saw a Tory Burch that I don't know if it was brand new with tags, but it was there. And he, he did not show me that piece, but I saw it in the background and I was like, yes, I want it all. So I bought it all. And speaking of Facebook Marketplace, I did also get this Helmet Lang. Here's a look at the tag. Wool jacket, maybe cardigan. Helmet Lang is a definite bolo if ever you guys see it. Again, I got this from the Facebook Marketplace uh, fellow who helped me out a lot. Paid maybe a dollar or two dollars for this. I ended up selling it for an offer of $95. I think I had it listed for $137. Ridiculous. And I was like, $95? Sure. So they paid $95 and I end up with $76 after Poshmark fees. And that was what sold on Poshmark. I had zero sales on eBay, which is crazy to me. eBay used to be my number one. It's now my third. And then I did have one little sale on Macari. It was this NFL Ravens little cheerleader outfit. So cute. I believe the Ravens are good to go for the playoffs. So that's good because I do have a couple of Ravens stuff to sell. I had this price at like 22. Somebody sent me an offer for 18. So of course I'm going to take that. And I end up with $14 and 96 cents. All in all, in my pocket, after fees and everything, not including the cost of goods, I end up with $258 and one cents. And so if we put that towards my goal, if you remember, the bill started out at $990 and 54 cents. We brought it down on Saturday to 936.05. And after the 258.01, we are sitting at $678 and four cents. So we're getting closer to zero and hopefully in the next 27 days or so we can get it down to that. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please give this video a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.